Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. Well, the colder weather is here, but it shouldn't really mean you need to neglect your wardrobe. See how crafty that writing is right yeah. there? <laughs> Join us this morning from Vomit and Company in Mount Vernon, Josh Randall, Olivia Randall. Good morning, friends. How are you? Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. We were just joking. You guys were some of our first people to join us when we started this whole experiment yeah. back in September. <laughs> and now look at us. We have all kinds of studio space. Let's talk about what's been keeping you guys busy and then let's talk about kind of everything in front of us here. So last few weeks getting out of the holidays mm -hmm. now into the new year. What's been going on at the shop? Yeah, biggest thing for us at the store is weddings, wedding, wed weddings. So we book a lot of weddings during January and February. Mm -hmm. So people are getting married and we help them pick out everything they need for their menswear. There so you go. yeah, like that's kind of our... measured for tuxes yeah. and all that stuff. Yep, that's our January and February goal is to get as many wedding parties ready to go as possible. <laughs> and I have to ask Josh, what about like prom seasons? Is it too early to start thinking about prom season too? Well, it's never too early, <laughs> but uh, we're, we're a little bit uh, ahead of prom season, but it's going to be right around the corner. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, I Guys, think, ask your date now. Yeah. <laughs> Get your plans made. First, first priority. <laughs> All right, here we go. All kinds of great stuff here. Yeah. This is for the winter wardrobe. So, Olivia, we're just going to kind of follow along with you and you yeah. kind of lead us through what everything we've got here. Yeah, so what we did is we brought in some of mine and Josh's um, favorites at the shop for keeping warm during winter months. Um, I'll start right over here. Um, this is a great slipper line. So, it's um, the brand is Sunita. Um, Josh and I both own a pair and we love them. They have an orthotic footbed in them, wool upper. They obviously have a hard sole as well, so mm -hmm. you can wear them outside if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it right now because yeah. they'll not <laughs> yeah. become an indoor You'll shoe You'll never anymore. get them back. But they are <laughs> Great slippers. So we wear those every single day when we get home from work, and I don't want to take them off when I have to go to work in the morning, but they are great. Um, then um, kind of along the warm wool line, we also brought in um, merino wool long underwear, uh -huh. or base layers as mm -hmm. a little more popular the, the, way to say the it. The only way to get through negative temperatures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you have to leave the house, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is a great company that we brought in, Minus 33. They're based in Vermont, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so U.S. company, but they make great base layers. Um, I don't know if Josh is wearing his today, but sometimes it's hiding underneath that outfit, so he stays warm. <laughs> um, and well, then, it's cold out. Yeah, you know? exactly. And then they also make some great hats and gloves. They make socks as well, so we stock all their products in our store, and it's just one of our favorite companies that we work with. Um, not minus 33, but I also brought in some other hats. If we want to cheer on our Iowa Women Talk guys, we've got yeah. some nice Iowa stocking caps to keep you warm when you're walking into that game. Um, Let's be honest, walking anywhere. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, and then this thing looks like I could just wrap up on yeah. my uh, recliner and take a nap under it. I this know, yeah. It's, shawl or it's what is fuzzy. that? It's fuzzy. It's a sweater. So women's sweater, just nice and lightweight, but really fuzzy, really comfortable. So we have that one. And then this one for guys, this one's kind of cool because it is reversible. So you just take that little take off and it's fully reversible. So now, Josh, is that something one. you could put, you know, like put over a, a, a shirt and tie under a sport coat yeah, then too? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we have a different version of it on this mannequin oh, yeah. over here. If they want to pan to it, that guy right there, he's got a different version, but it's also reversible. So it looks great underneath the sport coat as this well. Looks like a nice warm Thurston Howell the second. You yeah. know, he's got a little <laughs> ascot, get him a little cap. Cash. Right, yeah. But, and again, everything you see here is what you guys have in Mount Vernon yes. right now. You yep. could watch it today and you say, hey, I saw it this morning, which has been done. Yes, it has. It told us. <laughs> so you could say, hey, uh, Josh, I, you know, somebody comes in and say, I would love for my husband to get something like this, mm -hmm. or, you know, you know, they can come see you guys, and that's what you do. Yeah, yep. we can talk to them over the phone, we can send them pictures, mm -hmm. we can shop however you want to shop. So, yeah, we are happy to help you. And then the last thing we brought over is um, don't disregard a nice ankle boot for men and for women. Okay. Chuck a boot for men, ankle boot for women. We brought in that fun purple kind of new buck leather for women, and then this is a great Johnson Murphy chuck a boot from, for men. Are these something that you need to be concerned if I get them wet? Like, do I need to pre-treat them with something or get kind of spray? Yeah. It used to be you'd get a pair of shoes, you'd spray them with kind of like a silicone that almost came with them. Is that still the case? Yes, you can. They, It's a little bit better spray. They've advanced the technology, okay. but they make Pan water. cooking sprays. What yeah, I yeah. They make um, <laughs> waterproofing. We didn't have a lot up in Fayette, yeah, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they make waterproofing spray, so any shoe you want can become a winter shoe. You just okay. waterproof spray it, it. The shoe will stay looking exactly the same. You won't know it, but then it will prevent all the muck and salt and all of that stuff from ruining your nice shoes. So gotcha. yes, you can wear those out and about. Gotcha. Both have good traction too for all the slush that we're Yeah, look at that. Look at the traction on these. Yeah, things. I know. That's especially that one. Especially down that one. Yeah, for the ladies. Down there. So, um, we got about 
about a minute under, just under a minute left yeah. of this segment here. Fashion trends heading into the latter part of winter. What are you seeing? Yeah, we see, um, at least in our shirt, we see lots of crossover pieces. So things that can transition into spring. So Josh is actually wearing a great sport coat today. I, I like it is coat. kind of a brushed wool sport coat. So it's a good winter piece, but it can also transition to spring because it's a little bit lighter shade. So you can kind of pair it into spring a 42 as well. regular Josh? <laughs> You're really close. You need to come work in the store. I really <laughs> have. I've been there enough. So, yeah. uh, men's men's fashion, same thing for winter time. What do you see? Yeah, same thing. So, like Olivia said, crossover pieces. So, so this type of thing is great because it's going to work into as temperatures get a little bit warmer, but layering it, you can use it with the cooler weather. The other thing that you see is you know, how can I dress things up, dress it down, right? Mm -hmm. So on the mannequin over there, um, you can take those pieces apart, wear them separately for a more of a casual look. You can put them together for a dressy look. Mm -hmm. There you go. We've got another segment coming yes. up yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to clear the board, reset everything, because we're talking Valentine's Day right. for him and for her. Yes. Coming up in just a little bit. In the